If you love peanut butter and chocolate or you're in a snacking sort of mood, then this is the recipe for you. It's Trail Mix Muddy Buddies. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are talking all about Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow, which is like a sweet Chex Mix. Um, it's the Chex Mix that has peanut butter and chocolate and it's coated in powdered sugar. And so I'm making a classic recipe, but then I'm adding trail mix to it because that makes it healthy. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Okay, this recipe starts with Chex cereal. You can use the generic equivalent if you want. I love Chex cereal just to snack on because it's gluten-free um, and it's really, really simple and like crunchy and I love it. Um, it's so good in Chex mix or in sweet snack mixes or even in savory snack mixes. I have a couple of those on my site. I will link them down below. Um, but to make this, you need five cups of Chex cereal. Now you can use any kind that you want. They have rice, wheat, and corn are their plain flavors. And then they have lots of other flavors too, like honey nut and cinnamon and chocolate. So I usually use either corn or rice Chex for this, but you can use any of the flavors that you want. And go ahead and measure out five cups of that into a really large bowl and then set it aside. Then add a half of a cup of chocolate chips to another bowl. It can be a small or a medium sized one, along with a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Um, you could also use crunchy. Make sure that you're using like a regular, like no stir peanut butter, like Skippy or Jif. Um, you don't wanna use a natural peanut butter in this. It's not gonna work quite right. So add the peanut butter to the chocolate chips in the bowl, and then we're gonna heat that in the microwave um, in 30 second increments. It'll take about a minute to a minute and a half until the chocolate chips and the peanut butter all melt together. You stir it and the chocolate chips will melt into that peanut butter um, and so, so good. Then pour that peanut butter and chocolate mixture over the Chex Mix and you're gonna toss it to coat. So be really, really careful. You really do need to use a large bowl for this so it doesn't get all over your counter, but stir it to coat. Muddy Buddies are one of my favorite snacks. I love making them for parties. I actually have to make them to either give them away or for a party because I can eat an entire batch of Muddy Buddies by myself without any help from anyone. And then you're going to put it into a bag that you have filled with about one to two cups of powdered sugar. Um, so I usually like to do that ahead of time. I like to add my powdered sugar to my Ziploc bag. I'm using a gallon size Ziploc bag for this. Um, you could also use like a Tupperware container, but I really just like the, um, the bag because it's easy, easy cleanup. So go ahead and put all that um, chocolatey coated Chex cereal into the bag with the powdered sugar, seal it, make sure it's sealed, and then just shake, shake, shake it until all of those Chex pieces are covered with powdered sugar. This is a really fun way to get the kids involved. And then once it's all coated, go ahead and just turn it out onto a cookie sheet, which I like to line with either a Silpat baking mat or parchment paper for easy cleanup, and just pour it out there and you're just gonna let the checks harden a little bit. That chocolatey peanut butter was a little bit wet, so you just wanna let it harden. Um, it won't take very long, probably about half an hour to an hour. You can pop it in the fridge to speed up the process if you want. Once it's hardened and set, then go ahead and add your trail mix to this. Um, you can use any kind of trail mix you want. They sell so many different versions now. I'm using a classic that just has like peanuts and almonds and M&Ms and raisins, but you can use any kind that you want. You can also make this, um, the recipe is written both ways. You can also make this by just adding trail mix ingredients. So if you have nuts and raisins and candy pieces, you can just add them all separately. You don't have to actually use trail mix. It's up to you, whatever you have, whatever you feel like grabbing at the grocery store. And then once it's done, you put it in a big airtight container and it won't last very long, I promise. I also like to like portion this into baggies so that I don't just go to town on the gallon size bag. Um, but however you make it, it's super, super delicious. This stuff, it's super addicting. Beware, Want a bowl of it like this will just disappear in an instant. You'll just keep eating it. You won't even notice that you've eaten the entire bowl. So you've been warned, make it for a party, make it to give away or portion it into single serving packages just for your own protection. Leave me a comment, let me know what kind of trail mix you're gonna use and keep watching for even more desserts.